come on here and say hi and because I said I was going to come on here and do a little bit of um, show and tell about my uh, works in progress. But before I do that, I want to show you some things. My name is Rachel. My channel is called So Whatever. So if you like this kind of stuff, sewing, sewing topics, then please subscribe and like and share. Okay, um, so I went to Hobby Lobby this past week, I think it was Monday, because I saw Vin Mom's video on YouTube and she said, Hobby Lobby is having a sale for 99 cent patterns. And this was Sunday that I watched it, and we all know that Hobby Lobby is closed on Sundays. So Monday, I decided to go to Hobby Lobby and pick up some patterns that was in my wish list. I keep an ongoing wish list on my phone for patterns, and when they go on sale, I go grab them. Um, and it's been a while since Hobby Lobby, Joann's, any of those stores have had a good sale on patterns. 99 cent patterns I thought was a done deal. So, this is great. Uh, so, I want to show you my patterns. Uh, the first one is 9180, and this one I bought because I saw um, from Jen, Jen Sewing Room. Um, she made this skirt, and she made it in the, the exact same fabric it looked like. But um, I plan to go a little darker with it. And it's a really cute pattern, 9180. in here. <laughs> Guys, I need to work on those curtains. There you go. 9180. I'll put the I'll put the um, patterns down below so you can see and check them out for yourself. And then I got a 8800 There you go. 8800 simplicity. I like the robe. And I bought fabric to go with that. I am going to make it out of this cute fabric. It's got tigers on it. It's a little, it has a pink pink in the background. You, I don't know if you could really tell tell that, but about four yards. And then I bought one of Madeline's uh, patterns. It's 8995. Sorry about the sun. It's really bright in my room. One of my goals was to do a uh, do some curtains. And I'm just going to buy them. $91.98 for this one. My daughter says as long as it's in pink, she's good. This one is $91.96. Sorry. <laughs> $91.96, a little jumper. The next one is 92.13. Little robe for my daughter. And then this one is really cute. I love the pocket detail. 92.13. here is show everybody my works in progress. It's kind of a crazy thing, works in progress, because you build up so much when you start sewing, and 
it's a little crazy. Hold on one second. Let me make sure you're still with me. Yep. Um, I have so much works in progress. I mean, I've had, I have stuff in here from before I, you know, before I had a serger. So I have some stuff that has like horrible scenes. I have stuff from my beginner, beginner time when I was just first starting to sew. And I think I got rid of a lot of stuff as I was going through this stuff and saying, oh my gosh, I need to get rid of some of this stuff. This is crazy. But um, I want to show you a few things. Like you're probably wondering what this big bag is. And my mom passed away. It's been a while. But my mom passed away. And this is all of her jammies. She used to wear such cuddly jammies. She, if it was soft, she was wearing it. And um, I haven't decided because I have five sisters and I would like each of them to have something um, something made up in, in both these clothes. And um, what I'm going to show you next is my dad's t-shirts. When he passed, I had my sisters pick out a favorite t-shirt. And these were the t-shirts. These are my dad's t-shirts. He passed away also before my mom, and it's been a while. So uh, I need to figure out what to do with them. And I don't want to do just a pillow. So if you have any ideas on what to do that would be really special for my sisters, that would be great. So I can get those sent off to them. Uh, something incorporated with my mom and my dad. Um, dad's items would be really neat. That way it'll be one item and it'll be a memorabilia from my mom and my, my dad. So that's one thing I've been trying to work on. When I bring them out, I get very emotional. So, so uh, it's hard to dive into that project um so anyway this is another one this is a dress that i made about a year ago it's not a full dress <laughs> i did the bodice and the front i ruffle i uh, gathered the front but if so what i have left is the back i just have to gather the back to the back and then sew the sides and hem that's it. That's it for that one. Um, these are two panels that I've, that I've had for a while for Halloween. So before Halloween, I want to try to do this. They're panels that I was going to use for uh, pillows. So all I have to do is sew, sew it up and stuff it and slip stitch it, and I'm good with that. Here's another Halloween item. Really cute. You just sew around the little doll and stuff it, slip stitch it for Halloween. This is a little half robe. And I did this at a quilting class. I think this was my daughter's actually. My daughter went with me to that class and she she did this one and there's a whole bunch of pockets but we kinda we kinda didn't finish it so I would like to finish that for her. Another pillow. I have decided if I do not do the pillows this year for Halloween, I will probably give that stuff away. And this, this is, I keep stuff. I don't know why I keep stuff, but I keep stuff. If, um, if, if I really like it, but it's kind of dingy, I'll keep it because I could probably make it like 
make it, you know, copy it. So this is one that I've kept that I want to copy because it says Lake Tahoe. I've never been to Lake Tahoe, but I loved this sweater and I could probably make another one. So that's why I keep it. This. doesn't fit me anymore. It's very cute. It says, today is a good day, and it has a little heart on it. For some reason, I kept it because I think that I want to keep this, this saying. And I love animal print, so I'm having a really hard time getting rid of it. I mean, I could use the fabric for something else. I know. Don't judge. <laughs> and this is just a little blanket and all I have to do is put a backing on it basically. I think what I'm going to do is do a self binding blanket. And this is another one that I love this kind of scrub top and I want to because it's a medium it does not fit me and I want to just try to see if I can make another one like this one these are pajamas that I made for my daughter and they were way too long, but I think she'll be able to fit in them now. All I need to do is put a waistband on them. And that's it. That's literally it for that. This is a Chicago Bears shirt that I made my husband. But when it came to buttons, I kind of... became a scaredy cat and didn't want to ruin it. So it does not have buttons, <laughs> but it is a very nice shirt. So I would like to still put buttons on it and see, you know, see if he'll wear it. He wore it once. And then this is just a t-shirt. It's always good to have t-shirts for fabric, for anything. This is a shirt, and I'm not really sure what happened to this. Um, I think this is the Discovery Tee by um, Ellie and Mac. And it's nice, I love it. But something major went wrong with my serger, and it just fell apart. I mean, seriously, it just, it just fell apart, so I'm not sure if I'm just going to put that one in the trash or if I'm going to fix it. And then my husband gives me all these shorts to put buttons on and stuff and I never get to it. This was in my earlier times when... I had a serger, but didn't really know how to use it all that well. So half of the seams are serge and then half aren't. I think I'm just keeping it for the fabric, basically. Button, another button. So I'll probably do a button today. Since today is Wednesday and I need to do one of these things, I will do a button. And here's another button. Another button that needs to be done. And this. My husband wants me to try to fix this. And I probably will. So. But there's a hole right there. So I'm not really sure if I could put interfacing there and then just sew back on there. Sew it back on. But that is all. I um, 
I really need to start dwindling that down, and if I don't, then just let it go. Let it go. <laughs> All right. Well, I am done for today. If you like this video, like and subscribe to my videos so you can see all the videos that I have coming up. I do Friday sews. I'll be doing works and progresses to show you how that's going. Um, yeah, and I do fabric hauls and pattern hauls and all that good stuff. Anything related to sewing, I like doing. So, and this is sew whatever. So I sew whatever, but I mainly sew garments. But but I'm not. Um, I'm not picky. I'll do anything. I do baby clothes. I do. I do quilts sometimes. I do purses. I do home stuff. I mean, I, ju I just love sewing. So if you love sewing and you like my videos, then subscribe. All right. Have a good day.